the Office of Inspector General just a few days ago released uh, its report on Operation Atlantic Resolve. This is the DOD's nickname for the war in Ukraine. Um, according to this uh, document, we have um, the U.S. paying for, this is the worst part, My apologies, folks. We have the U.S. program Democracy Commission supported demining trainings for school-aged children. So if I'm reading this correctly, they are training school children in demining. Yeah. I mean, this is about as bleak as it can get. Uh, <laughs> um, we also oh, we have... we weapons training next, uh, I'm sure. But <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean... As, well, Azov's been doing that for the past eight years. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, and we have more information on uh, Ukrainian Air Force strikes on Russian energy infrastructure. Uh, we have a table here. Let me just make sure it's up on the screen. Yes, it is. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven strikes since January 21st uh, inside of Russia by the Ukrainian Air Force. Um, this is, you know, the strikes that are accounted for by the Pentagon, um, all on Russia's energy sector. Mm. Um, I mean, it's pretty clear. I mean, if it, in, in case there was any uh, confusion about who may have carried out the Nord Stream attack, you know. Yeah, um, indeed. Well, the, it's the Russians, of course. But, I mean, what, it just makes perfect sense that yeah. they blow up their own pipeline. Right. Um, I mean, I think as well that this is... One of uh, the, 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 the the strikes on Russia are like they're for, it's effectively a continuation of what Ukraine has been doing since the very start of this. Yeah, it's but carrying out kind of strikes for propaganda purposes, um, it, it, which play very well um, in the media and get an enormous amount of attention, but don't actually impact very much, if at all, on the battlefield. Yeah. Um, now, um, I think that. Uh, it, the, 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 what's going to probably inevitably happen because it always does is that there will be a h harsher backlash from the Russians as a result and it's like I think that like at every point in this war we have been told oh well the Russians rule talk and they can't escalate and then they just do yeah. it was like this was it, it, the, the Kirch Bridge uh, b uh, bombing which was planned by British intelligence um, they and and uh, yeah, it's been rather forgotten that they killed a, an unsuspecting Bulgarian truck driver right. in the process because yeah. he didn't know that the, the truck was full of explosive. Um, they the, the the response it's to actual that, terrorism. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And it's like the response. The res and funnily enough, the the British in Northern Ireland had a human bomb strategy, uh, which is very similar to what the to what transpired on Kirk Bridge, but. The point is, is that led to, and this was on Putin's birthday, and there were all of those like memes shared by Ukrainian officials, like "Happy birthday, Mr. President," right? With the and then it's bridge. like, and then that led yeah. to the strikes on all over Ukraine, particularly their ele their electricity generation, yeah. and it's like they've now imposed rolling blackouts, yeah, um, and stuff like. So it's it, again, well, and that was a clear escal. That was a tit for tat, right? Yeah. Because Russia really wasn't hitting Ukrainian infrastructure until at all. until at that all. point. Yeah, and it's, um, I think I might add as well that like it, 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 what was really interesting there was a what I think it was what it was either the NYT or, or, or Washington Post they published an article last year which basically stated that like the, the, the like Russia's unwillingness to target infrastructure has quote unquote baffled US officials mm -hmm. because like because that I, was the Iraq playbook yeah, 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 and, and Yugoslavia too. Right. Um, but they, uh, but yeah, the, like the, I mean, Russia, Russia is not in the business of. I think they're, they're subscribing to that. You break it, you bought it. Type, yeah. um, right. like, uh, like, uh, mentality. So it's like that's why like Ukraine is being left alone. Yeah. Um, that could change because, of course, we're on on May twentieth, i.e., tomorrow, um, uh, the uh, Zelensky's term runs out. It's formally run, yeah. runs out, right. um, and. Um, Lavrov uh, has made rather veiled comments that he doesn't imagine that the Russia will ever be negotiating with um, Zelensky, and he's obviously on Russia's wanted list now. Uh, so, I mean, whether they're going to start upping the ante significantly once that happens, because they can. R Russia is a very legalistic, bureaucratic society, and they can quite plausibly claim, "Oh, well, he's this illegitimate dictator, yeah. and we're trying to. We have to step in to save the Ukrainians right. from this monster." And like, uh, so democracy's I mean, at stake. Yeah, democracy. 
<laughs> yeah, and um, I mean, we, 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 we shall see. So uh, continuing on with the OIG report, this is uh, the real uh, meat of it, I think. Uh, DOD had limited ability to ensure Ukrainian trainees compliance on human rights. In January, the DOD Office of Inspector General released a management advisory that highlighted limitations in DOD's ability to demonstrate compliance with the Leahy laws, which prohibit the United States from training, uh, from providing assistance such as DOD training to a unit of a foreign security force if credible information indicates that the unit committed gross violations of human rights. Examples of gross violations of human rights include torture, extrajudicial killing, enforced disappearance, and rape. When reviewing data from August to December 2022, the DOD OIG found that the DOD's vetting process initially lacked the necessary data to ensure full compliance, which increased the risk that foreign, foreign troops may have been allowed to attend DOD trainings who were legally prohibited from doing so. For example, officials in the ODC, Kiev, and SAGU were unable to verify which UAF units had been vetted and authorized to send personal personnel to specific training events. The ODC, Kiev, and SAGU were also unable to fully verify which UAF personnel arriving at the Grafenwoher <laughs> training area in Germany belonged to a Leahy vetted unit. The ODC, Kiev, took corrective measures by immediately changing how it documented units that received Leahy vetting and were approved to send personnel to training. So, long story short, the DOD admits here that they may be trained rapists and torturers in the Ukrainian military. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can, it's, I think the vetting process should, could quite possibly just amount to do they have a swastika tat? Yeah. Like, right. like, yeah. Like, I mean, which we, they failed to, <laughs> failed in Germany. Yeah. If you guys uh, caught that uh, short you, we did for um, YouTube and Twitter, um, we've also released a number of, uh, of uh, standalone videos, we I did an investigation on the color revolution in Georgia, and the um, the uh, incident in which uh, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken uh, dined at a Nazi themed restaurant in Ukraine. I went yeah. over uh, some of the other Americans, including a, a, a war criminal and wanted murderer, and an avowed neo Nazi. Um, having also been to that restaurant, check that out on our YouTube channel, please. Um, Kit will have investigations next week, as Indeed. will I. Uh, standalone pieces for our channels, um, and we encourage you guys to check that out. Yeah, well, it's like, I, uh, and I think that the, I mean, as I mean, as we discussed with Centuria, um, the vetting for the Ukrainian armed forces is, um, in terms of political background. Um, and and, uh, and uh, the, the political persuasion. In theory, Western militaries are not meant to provide training, and that that's like a matter of of law and policy to um, uh, people possessed of fascist views. Right. Um, of course, they do all the time sure. um, as a matter of course. But I think that, like, particularly now with like the, the, there's there's a new wave of mobilization, which is like it, it, the, where they are doing everything they possibly can to crack down on draft evasion which yeah. is like i mean the video so there's an absolutely horrendous video of a woman being beaten um by a recruiter because she filmed them th yeah. the, the bundling her boyfriend or husband into a into a van um there are all sorts of all sorts as we've discussed before all sorts of efforts to um prevent uh ukrainians from having driving licenses and passports if they don't um, if if uh, they don't uh, present themselves at, uh, receiving recruit, consular services uh, recruit, in recruit, Poland as we as we covered yeah, the other week recruitment centers um, and it's like yeah it's um, I think again kind of you know end of days but they, they've they've reduced the um, they've reduced the age of recruitment to eighteen to twenty five which yeah. is like that Ukraine Ukraine already has very few eighteen to twenty five year olds left yeah they um, all left yeah 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 because yeah. a lot of them leave I mean Ukraine had terrible demographics before the war before yeah. the war began so um, and, and I think within that context of course a large number of people are going to be um, ending up in Western training centers. Uh, just uh, who um, may have criminal pasts, may have like maybe the last kind of people you would want in the military, just out of desperation. Yeah. So and then yeah, that like as we discussed, Ari Centuria, there was this incredible. There were several kind of people with who were part of Azov Battalion who received training at elite 
British, Canadian, US uh, 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 military centres, and then when the, the, the this uh, this was investigated by George Washington University, yeah. and when they asked these these institutions, do you do any vetting? It's like, oh well, no, we expect the Ukrainians to do that. Yeah. and then the Ukrainians were asked, do you do any vetting? They were like, no. Yeah, and, like, and, so and, and it's just like <laughs> I reported something similar for for the Gray Zone a few years back about uh, U.S. and NATO trainers in Ukraine. Um, going there and also failing to uh, do any kind of vetting and 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 the the, the line was the same. We expect the Ukrainians to yes. handle the vetting. Hey everyone, um, if you enjoyed this video or or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.